My name is Antonio Battini and I'm multimedia designer for the Maritime Center of Excellence. I'm working on various projects which are mostly powered by Unreal Engine. This is an example which I run on MacBook Pro M1 without any issues regarding the performance of the system and at the same time I'm doing the screen capturing with OBS. Here we have a beautiful swimming pool in the sunset with custom-made LUT map which looks tempting to jump in. There is a post-process volume which simulates underwater look as well. Tiles texture were made procedurally without any PNG inputs for the purpose which I'm gonna show you in a few seconds. Proud with your pool design, modeling, unwrapping and texturing and now you are ready to call your mom and tell her how you're gonna get a job in Hollywood next month but then your boss comes in and says it's okay but the dimensions of the pool are wrong and 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 because he or she changed its mind now you have to do everything from the beginning and that's annoying but there is a solution for this particular case which will probably never happen in a real life scenario so with a little bit of coding I made a procedural swimming pool inside of Unreal Engine. I will drag and drop my pool BP and lift it up a little bit so that you can see what is happening in the scene. Here we have on the right side pool dimensions section with two parameters width and length of the pool. One segment is 2 by 2 meters, so if I put 5 into the width, it means that the pool is 10 meters wide. For the length, I will put number 4. So the next question is how deep we want this pool to be. By the default, pool depth is 1 meter, but if I check is pool deep box, then the pool depth will be doubled. With the doubled depth, water surface moves accordingly to the top of the pool. Now we made most of the job, but we need ladders for entering and exiting pool and I wanted to make it procedurally as well. So I'll put a check mark in the box has ladders and now I can type number of the pool entrances. If I make two entrances, it will automatically generate it on the opposite side of the pool because it has perfect sense. Unless I meet someone who is actually building swimming pools and says to me, this is totally wrong, totally. But I don't care because it just has to look good. For this case, I will put four entrances so that I'm safe with my design. In the original pool I have underwater IES lights, so that will be the next check mark on the list. Has pool lights, and I'll say yes, it has and it will automatically generate static point lights with IES base on the pool size. And the last thing what we need to recreate is the tiles around the pool which I use for better blending with the landscape. Our pool is finished now and I just have to lower it down to the ground. Our happiness ends here and because I obviously have a problem with the grass and the landscape, which can't be solved with the current version of the software, so I will have to make landscape again. I'm just joking. Uh, there is an easy fix for that, so first things first. I will have to trim the grass as in the real world and for that I will use a large brush with my dirt layer. I will make a square in the shape of pool, pushing pool like a magnet tool. Obviously there is a poet inside of me trying to get out. And now I have a good surface to dig a hole for my swimming pool. For that purpose Unreal Engine has a tool under the Sculpt tab which is called Visibility Brush and I will change its size to 150 and dig a hole in the area of the pool. Voila! We have our bigger pool with textures, lights, acoustics and water surface within just a few minutes. On the original one I made a post-process volume which can be duplicated to the second one for the underwater effect. Box reflection capture for the reflections uh, inside of the pool and sphere reflection capture for the reflections on the surface of the water and the marble tiles around the pool. 
With this technique you can build basically any object or structure which is possible to divide in repetitive segments. Thank you for watching and stay well!